Hi, my name is Darshan and I'm an online tutor of math and physics. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, uh, MCQ number multiple choice questions from a sample exam issued by a college board. Uh, so this question says that the figure is shown in the graph of the polynomial G uh, is of a polynomial a function G, then which of the following could be the expression for G. The first thing which we can notice with all the options is they are in factored form. And the first and foremost, in fact, the crack which sort of which we can develop is noticing the roots. Okay, I can surely see that there are two positive roots, two positive roots, and there is surely one negative root of this particular polynomial function, which means that there will be, if we analyze the options, option B is just not possible because it has x plus 5 equal to 0, you know, this expression equal to 0 would mean that negative 5 and negative 1 are the two roots which are just not possible because these two are negative, but there are no two negative roots, there is only one. So B is not possible. Uh, and likewise, D is also not possible because there are two negative roots over here. So it has to be either A or, or C. Now the only difference between a and c is the multiplicity of x minus 5. Uh, in one of them, the multiplicity is e1 and uh, uh, in option c, it's e1 and in option a, it is odd. But since we notice here that the function bounces back to its original position, which means that the multiplicity at that point must be even because that is the only situation when the function can just bounce back from this point. So if it bounces back, this would mean that uh, it has an even multiplicity, which means that the correct option is option C over here. Yeah, I hope that makes sense.